obviously goals from Kai, from Christian, and how important for Armando to come off the bench and score his first Chelsea goal? Yeah, really, really happy for him because uh, he's been doing that. He's been coming off the bench and having an impact, and I think he's, you see the quality that he has. Um, but obviously, you know, to score is really important for the forwards. But I was pleased with it, all the guys that scored today because they've all had to wait and be patient. And um, and, and and obviously, if they're scoring, it, it helps the confidence, it helps the belief in each in each other, and it's great for the group. OK, Herc, the question here, what did Christian Pulisic prove to Graham Potter with his start and his goal over the weekend? Christian Pulisic proved nothing. We've been down this road before. With Frank Lampard, where at one point he was one of the most productive players in the Premier League. With Thomas Tuchel, when in that Champions League run, he was most, one of the most important players of that team. And now under Graham Potter, the moments, the pockets of moments are there. But when it comes to Christian Pulisic and when it comes to coaches, he needs to earn their trust. This is why he's not proved anything as of yet. But these moments are going to hmm. build that trust, do more to increment that trust as a manager. But I like what I'm hearing out of Graham Potter. Forget about what I'm hearing. The play, the overall play suits Christian Pulisic, especially where he's playing him and where he's entrusting him to play. I'm going to read you really quick, Graham Potter. He's a human being. He wants to play. He wants to help. It's about how you put the players on the pitch so it suits them. The role that Christian was good, was, the role that Christian Pulisic was at was a good one for him. It was high and wide left. He could attack the back line. It was nice for him to score. He understands the strengths. He understands he needs to put Christian Pulisic or his players in a position to succeed. I love that. But if we're going to talk what does it mean, it doesn't mean anything until Christian Pulisic does it continually. Wow, I think he proved a lot. I think he proved he's capable of starting Herc, and like that's the discussion he should be in. Before the discussion was, is he going to get any minutes at all? The first three games under Potter was six minutes, six minutes, zero minutes. So this is a place where he gets the start, he gets the goal. I think that's great. He also proves he can be a part of the solution uh, for the problem which Graham Potter's going to have to solve and cost Thomas Tuchel his job. Chelsea wasn't scoring a whole lot of goals. They scored three against AC Milan. They scored three again here. The last time they scored three goals in a game, Herc, before that, you got to go all the way back to last season. So for me, this is a, a huge moment for Christian Pulisic. The other thing that I really like like from his performance in this game and early on I don't know if you agree with me here it felt like he was pressing a little bit but I saw that as a guy who was feeling the urgency acknowledging that this was like a, a one-time shot with a start to prove to Potter what he could do and early on in that game he was aggressive it didn't yeah. always come off but he was very very aggressive we, we've not always seen that from Pulisic some people have called him timid shy he does kind of have that attitude I think we saw a very aggressive Christian Pulisic I an assertive Christian Pulisic, and I'm so glad it paid off with the goal because that's really what folks are going to focus on. Okay, uh, Christian Pulisic was the most dangerous player for Chelsea, uh, hands down, regardless of what the British pundits or what these commentators that were commentating this game would lead us to believe that's <laughs> the case. He was the most dangerous player. But a little context, it was against Wolves. Wolves is in yeah. relegation zone right now. Wolves has only scored three goals total all season. Uh, they were pinned back the whole time. Good for Christian Pulisic, but we've been down this road before. You need to continue to do it. You need to build that trust, earn that trust. I'm glad you picked up on the announcers, too, because I, I was like, man, they're, they're being pretty harsh on Christian Pulisic here. Sometimes I don't know if that's our red, white, and blue uh, colored glasses. Uh, I never know, but I, I think I saw a lot of that on Twitter, too, that the announcers were being, were being tough on Pulisic. Next game for Chelsea against AC Milan on Wednesday, or actually on Tuesday. So that'll be very interesting, right? We figured he gets to start over the weekend. There's a big rotation under Potter. What's the role in the Champions League? Is it going to be six minutes or is it going to be half an hour? Because that's what you need for Christian Pulisic. You can't put him on for five or ten minutes. He's never going to make the impact that Potter's talking about him potentially making. He needs at least a half hour. So if the Milan games presents that opportunity, the last one really didn't. I got to see more out of him. I, I want to see that if he's not going to be a starter, it's got to be a real super sub role, not like charity minutes at the end of the game. That all depends on how the game is going and what the game offers you. I mean, it's 3-0, and then you had offensive players coming in the last 10, 15 minutes of the game. So it depends on what you will get while you're playing Milan in Milan. Uh, but I understand with you what you're, the sentiment you are going for. He needs to be much more than just a role player. Uh, you mentioned the Potter quote, Potter after the game. I don't know if you saw this. Absolutely loves Mason Mount. So the other good thing that comes out of this game is we see again the Mount-Polisic chemistry. I don't think Mount's coming out of that lineup the no. way Potter talks it, about him. 
Yeah, people it's, people get the I'm sorry, I didn't mean to catch you up. I'm just saying people get the wrong idea when it comes to Mason Mount and Christian Pulisic. They want to pit him against each other when I think yeah. he's one of his biggest allies. Totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they make a great combo. They showed that again. And my point is, Mount ain't coming out of that lineup. So if you prove that you can play with him, you got a yep. much better chance, I think, uh, uh, of playing. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.